is not a racist video about Israel. I'm not racist. This is just common sense, history, and things that don't add up. It's about religious beliefs and history, and it just doesn't add up. Now that we got the politically correct part out of the way, you know, make sure you get your disclaimers out there because you can't actually say anything in this world anymore. Why do Christians worship Israel as the people of God today? It doesn't make any sense. Why do presidents, the most powerful people that have ever lived on this planet, go over to Jerusalem, put their little skull caps on, meaning God is above them, and they pray at the Wailing Wall, where the Jews wail for a temple to be built, for God to honor them again, and for a Messiah to come, because they don't believe in Jesus. They do not believe in Jesus. They actually believe in a Messiah that will come and wipe out infidels like Christians and Muslims and everybody. They want a Messiah to come and kill all the Christians, and they think the Christians are lost and damned. We give them billions of dollars and go and pray at their wall and call them the children of God while they deny Jesus Christ. And now I want to know, how do they deny Jesus Christ? They've All of their history is very intently written down, you know? They've had people recording it, they believe the prophets, all of them that talked about the carrying away into Babylon. Huge event in Israel's history, only lasted 70 years. I mean, obviously the greatest, or Solomon's temple was destroyed and they never built that one again, but they did wind up building Herod's temple. But they believe those prophets, and they believe the prophets about everything, about being delivered from Egypt, about, you know, just all throughout their history. But then there's a time where Jesus Christ comes, and the apostles come, and their temple's destroyed. Why isn't this in their Bible? Why don't they believe those prophets? Why don't they believe the prophets that said that not one stone in that temple would stand upon another that wouldn't be thrown down? They haven't had a new temple in 2,000 years since the time of Christ. Since the time that the Bible says that the unbelieving Jews killed Jesus Christ, Israel has never been honored of God again according to the scriptures. They've never had a temple. They've never had their practices. They've never sacrificed again, you know? Since the time that a man existed that was considered a Jewish Messiah, who was the Jewish Messiah, and took away sacrifice and became that sacrifice, Israel is not sacrificed. They stopped animal sacrifices. They haven't had any new prophets. You know, they've named some other people Messiah, never came to pass. Now they got a Messiah over there that wears glasses. And why hasn't this been added to their Bible? Why don't they believe in Jesus? Why don't they believe in the apostles? Everything Jesus Christ said came to pass. That temple was destroyed. And by the way, all of Christians have been duped by this fake Israel. It's caused all Christians to go back to the law and the prophets, support this Israel that doesn't support Jesus. And it's caused Christians to reject Jesus and call him a liar, just like this Israel today does. Because Christians are looking for a new temple. They've got a new Israel. They, whenever Jesus already did all these things, that temple was destroyed. He already turned. Give me a follow. I'm going to post this on YouTube, a longer video.